Hey guys, welcome back to Pokemon Yellow. Last time we beat the Cinnabar City Gym and got through the Pokemon Mansion, so now we're back in Viridian City, as you can tell, at least from the color palette and what this place kind of looks like, uh, because the last and final gym is here and doesn't require us to do anything much of anything else, so we're just going to go ahead and take that on, since we're not at an amazing level. We're all, like, our lowest levels are 37. And, uh, well, we are going to have to deal with some pretty hard things, I at least think we can get through this gym, just because we've got some really good, really strong Pokemon, so we'll at least be able to get through here. Though, probably after this episode, I'm going to have to take a, uh, pretty long, not a hiatus, but, like, off-screen, I'm going to have to be doing quite a bit of grinding, since we are only at level, like, 37 across the board. So now we need to get through this gym. Let's see. The truly talented win with style. Now that is a very nice sentence. Very nice sentence. Somebody is, like, spamming shit in general. What is going on? I don't know. <laughs> you gotta stop posting shit in general. It makes me annoying. It makes me annoyed. I'm a Discord admin. I make weird, funny noises. Or I just do that, just naturally, anyway, because I'm stupid. <laughs> just because I'm stupid. But yeah. It doesn't, like, make me super annoyed, but it's like when people post stuff in the wrong chat. It's, like, pretty, pretty annoying. Because <laughs> I literally tell them to. And it's like, damn. Do you, do you not listen? Post gifts in the picture. Picture chat. My man. <laughs> like, my man. You gotta post shit in the right place. That is one of the, the cardinal rules of the Epsilon Discord because it, it, it's annoying. Then again, I'm just like, my Discord woes. <laughs> anyway, we killed Rhydon. I didn't. I, I, or Rhyhorn. I kinda knew we'd. Like, pretty much instantly eliminate them. I lost my grip. I mean, you do have a whip. <laughs> I'm like, you do have whip. Can you give me whipped cream? No more room for items. I have that secret key in my ass. I don't know. Fucking... X accuracy. Go the hell. I'm not throwing out that master ball. Don't know what to use it on yet. I have an idea, but I don't know. Yo, found a revive. Fucking useless to us, since we don't usually use revives in battle. Let's see. Hopefully, you got, yeah. D desktop audio is muted, so you guys don't hear Discord notifications. I'm the Karate King. Your fate rests with me. Oh, thank you, Karate King. I needed somebody to have my fate rested with them. I don't know what that means. Black Belt wants to fight. You're gonna get your fucking ass handed to you. Because I've got the power of Duck Dodgers. Also, I taught Duck Dodgers uh, strength. Just because Scratch is not a good move, and no other moves they would learn later were worth anything. So I was like, yeah, this is already a pretty good learn set. Oh yeah, it has confusion now. I should have thought of that. I can literally go for super effective damage. And I was like, damn, uh, I'll just go for stab. And it's like, eh. If Dodgers could learn Psychic, that'd be great. All right, Dodgers grew to level 42. See, we got my chop. See, I'll use confusion again, though. I'm not getting stabbed from this. I'm only getting super effective. So it's kind of like super effective doubles your damage, but stab does a 1.5. But surf is stronger than psychic or uh, confusion. Because I think confusion has like 60 power, and surf has 90 power. So multiply 90 times 1.5, you would have. 135 effective power versus only times 2, 120 effective power. At least if those are how the calculations are supposed to go. I don't know correctly. I'm just kind of guessing off the top of my head. Oh no, he used an X attack. Well, good job being stupid as hell. I'll hit you with a strength. I literally just think that Dodge is just picking up a choke and throwing him against the wall. He's just that strong, dude. He's trunk. He's becoming one of our strongest members, just like how Sakuya was. Aya! I, I don't know a man or a, or a woman named Aya, but seems like she's a very nice woman. See, I could try and fight all the gym trainers, but I actually... 
they're just not good for, like, uh, coconuts or Gorochu to grind off on. And, nah, I don't really care enough. I'd rather just get straight to the end of the gym. This one is pretty easy. They just have, like, movement puzzles. And who is the gym leader but the Italian mob boss himself? Hey there, Jimmy. How you doing? <laughs> it's been a while. Actually, it's only been, like, an episode or two? So, yeah, it has not been a while. What's up? <laughs> this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you caught me again. I knew you were probably going to show up because you're getting all that shit, but, you know, I didn't actually think it was going to happen. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. So for that, he's not really the greatest trainer because he keeps on getting his ass kicked by a fucking ten-year-old. Good job, Jimmy. Anyway, this is the last time you get to fight Giovanni. Time to get fucked. He's got... He's... He is the ground-type gym leader. So, he's, like, got a lot of ground and rock-type stuff. But, you know, our team is kind of already prepared to deal with that. We're going to be using the same two Pokemon from last time, Vanilla and Duck Dodgers, so... Bye, Doug Trio. Your guard spec didn't matter for shit. <laughs> guard spec just makes sure that every move you hit is, like, 100% accurate. Or at least that's how it is in later games. I'm not sure how guard spec works in th these games. Either way. And he's got a Persian. Because he had a Persian in the anime. So, therefore, yes. Mm, yeah, go for the stab. Shit. It's got double team. <laughs> He's going for double team strats, you motherfucker. He's using a guard spec. Come on, Dodgers! Ah, shit. He, he, knew, he knows he's out of luck, so he's like, fucking just double team this shit. God damn. Fucking drown this cat into oblivion. Damn. Asshole. Come on, Dodgers! Ooh, you piece of shit. Alright, um... Go Grimace, actually. Because Grimace can actually... Uh, what is it? Dodge all of his moves. He just has to set up, like, double team a million times. But I have quite a bit of, like, nightshades. So yeah, lower my defenses all you want. You can't hit me for shit. Fuck him up, Grimace. Fuck him up, Grimace. Fuck him up, Grimace. Fuck him up, Grimace, finally. Yeah, I really... When you have to face off against someone using double team, it's it's never fun. It's never fun. Oh, shit, I'm getting two hits in a row with, like, three double teams put on? Fucking Grimace pulling weight, what can you say? Oh, three times in a row? Damn, Grimace. What, what do we say? Grimace is the MVP of the entire game, and I have no clue why. He just is. Alright, Nido Queen. You're not as good as Vanilla. Even though you're like 10 levels higher than her, it doesn't matter. Grimace will mentally destroy you. And we get hit with the Earthquake. And because Grimace is part Psychic type, or part Poison type, shit's gonna hurt. Ooh boy. Alright, well, Dodgers is like one hit away from being dead completely, so. Go for it! There you go. It is part, uh, ground type, so water type move should kill it. Good job. Alright. Dodger's got to level 43. He's now got 91 special and 92 speed. Alright. Now he's got to deal with Nido Queen King, and I, if I'm faster... Okay, he is not fast. I am not faster than the Nido King that is 12 levels higher than me. Well, we tried. Gave it a good old try. What should we do now? Uh, let's go for vanilla and try and drown his ass. Or we could hit him with earthquake. Hit him with earthquake. No, hit me with earthquake, you little bitch. He knew what I was gonna do. He knew it. Little bastard. Come on, hang on. Ah, oh, God. We are like much lower level than him. Trying to take this on, it's. It's not the best idea that we took him on so low leveled. Um, go for the low kick. He goes for the double kick. Let's see. Oh, that was a crit? You're gonna crit both of them, ain't you? you? Little bitch. Come on, coconuts, hit him with the low kick. 
It doesn't really work in this generation, does it? I should have gone for Karate Chop. Well, shit. Pika Gorochu, you got this. <laughs> Hit him with, uh, a double team. Shit, okay, well, he's gonna be hitting me, uh, without even worrying about it now that he has a guard spec. Alright, take down. Doesn't really work. Oh, shit, he missed. Double team strats for the win. You double team me, so I'm gonna double team back. And then I just get it. Okay, cool. I'm like, okay, cool. That sucks. Yeah, we're definitely not winning this. This is like our first gym loss. If we ever had one before. I don't remember. Damn. Oh, fuck. All I gotta say is, well, fuck. Because there's like, I don't think there's a way we're getting out of this. Yeah, just hit me with the earthquake. I would need quite a bit more training. Like, this is, this would require me to like, grind to level 50 with everybody. Unless we just need a lot more luck against Persian. Where am I? Am I at Cinnabar? No, I'm back at Viridian. I could possibly win it just by Dodgers having better luck against Persian. Because Persian was, Persian kind of like fucking fucked us. And like pretty much just destroying us instantly. We could also grind on all the, uh, what is it called? Gym trainers? Prepare for it? I just don't really want to. I'd rather just, like, head force this shit. Just like, throw my head into it and just win instantly. They're just like, they've got way more levels than us. Like, he's in the level 55s. Like, Sabrina was in the 50s. Uh, like, uh, Blaine got up to the 50s. We are just not... We are not prepared for this. But we'll keep trying. I just want to give it another try. If not, then we might just have to go off and, like, grind, like, back somewhere else that's easy to grind at. I know that Doug Trio is really easy to get rid of. Which requires a surf. Damn, fucking heat sand tech. Still, you get your ass killed. I'm gonna have to switch Duck Dodgers anyway. Because we need somebody that just doesn't get hit by, uh... Hit by Persian's attacks, so that Persian can just set up and lose its mind. And it's like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's like, you'll just suck it. Alright, go get him, Grimace. And it's like, when Grimace is not strong enough to take on, like, a, a poison type, it's like, you know that shit's bad. You know shit's getting bad. Yeah, your, your guard spec won't help when I am ghost type. Go fuck yourself. Damn, I got a crit. That is dangerous right there, because any kind of earthquake I get hit with is going to be disastrous. Like, horribly disastrous. Okay. I have an idea. I just need to get really, really lucky with, uh, hypnosis. Go! Oh, I got lucky. Hit him with the hypnosis and then hit him with the dream eater. Eat their fucking dreams. The dream eater is stronger than psychic. And also helps me conserve some PP. Eat his a eat her ass. Good job. Okay. Still not waking up. Perfect. Eat their dreams. If I pretty much just do that throughout the entire fight, I think I could actually just, you know. What what is it? Just think think smarter, not harder. Or you could think harder, but you know. Thinking is hard. Though is he faster than me? Ah, but it missed. Yeah, I think that's the strat. Just hope for really good hypnosis luck. Because if not, then like, yeah, the Nidos can like instantly murk me. Uh, I'm gonna go for Dodgers. He's got Thunder, though he should miss Thunder at least some of the time. Is Ground weak to Ice? I always forget. Ground... Pokemon... Weakness. It says it's weak to Ice type, but I don't know if it's weak in Gen 1. Gen 1. It says Ice types work, so... Oh, uh, why does he get to be so lucky? Oh, bastard. He gets to be lucky with all of his shots. And he doesn't miss a single thunder so far, so... And he gets a crit. Little bitch. You need to be taught a lesson by your mother. <laughs> your mother? Yeah, I knew it. I knew this was not going to pan out. 
out so well. But the hypnosis thing will work at some point. I just... Oh, it, 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 she actually survived. I picked the wrong move. If I did an earthquake, it might have actually done a lot more damage. Might have opened up more room for us to actually start, you know, getting to the final Pokemon. Um... Coconuts does have a chance to do some minuscule amount of damage. I'm gonna go for the seismic toss. Ah, uh, if it did... If it did double kick, then it, it probably would have survived, but I think Coconuts is going down. Coconuts, no! Coconuts, how could this be? Um... Gorichu... Might be a good idea to go for the double team strats. Uh, no, it just gets to, It gets its earthquake off instantly. Are we at a speed tie? It could be, because Gorichu went first once. Yeah, you do that scream where you're dying. I don't think Sakuya's pulling this out. Come on, flamethrower. Maybe if, like, the seismic toss actually landed, then we could have gotten past uh, Nido Queen at least, or Nido King. But Nido King is. He's got that bulk. He's got that fucking bulk. And he's also got a fuck ton of luck. And I don't like that. Why does he get all the fuck luck? As Robotnik once said. <laughs> Why does he get all the fuck luck? I don't know, man. I don't know. Anyway. We will go with... We're losing, like, a ton of money, but like I said, I don't care that much about money currently. Like, man, I'm losing a lot. I could just buy a bunch of full restores, which is probably what I'm going to be doing anyway, but it's like... I don't care. It's like, I don't care. I'd rather just throw myself at the problem until it's finished. See, I could just start fighting Pokemon trainers here, then. Just because they will be... easier to kill. And Duck Dodgers could probably survive a couple more hits if he's actually a bit stronger. Heh, <laughs> you must be running out of steam by now. I, I have a lot of steam, dude. There's a lot of games on steam I have. <laughs> Don't you dare make fun of my steam collection. Let's see, it's Sand Slash. Well, now I'm level 43, and I'm just, like... <laughs> I'm just trying to get through this shit. But yeah, if I can get Nidoqueen... If I can hit Nidoqueen with the, uh... What is it? With the hypnosis, and then keep him asleep? That'd be perfect. Like, he's fucked at that point. If not, then, like, I can rely on Duck Dodgers to do, like, a blizzard to annihilate him. And if not, I can try and soften him up with the rest of the group. So I've got, like, I've got two backup plans in case everything goes haywire. But if all the backup plans all fail, then, well, I don't have much else to rely on. 44. I ran out of gas. Man, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me. Roar! I'm working myself into a rage. Why are you so angry? <laughs> you, is it to beat the shit out of me? Or are you just like... You got anger an anger management issues that you just... You know, haven't uncovered yet. You got a Machop. Your Machop's gonna die. Maybe he's just sad Machop's gonna die. <laughs> Who knows? I need to look up what is Blizzard's effective power. Uh, Pokemon. Blizzard Gen 1. What, how much power does Blizzard even have? I want to see. Cerebi's taking some time to load. Oh, Cerebi. We know and love you so much. Its base power is 120. So if it's fighting against something that is like... It'll be weak against Blizzard... It'll be having an effective damage of, like, 240 if we follow weakness weakness things. So it's like, we should be able to kill Nido King with, like, a really, really strong, uh, what is it? Uh, like, Blizzard. But it's like, it's, we're, it's hard getting there. Rargh! Like, we're able to pretty much get past everything else, but it's like, damn. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together. Why are you in a ground gym if you're a musician? I guess you're a rock musician, eh? No. You're just a Digimon tamer. You brought your Digimon to the Pokemon battle. It doesn't work out all that well, man. Anyway, Dodgers is gonna fucking destroy you. At least Dodgers is getting, like, a ton of experience. Just, you know. He's ready to fucking destroy this game. He's ready to destroy it for everything's fucking worth. So just check on... 
I'm like, uh, as I stare at my phone. Not enough. I need level 45. And you are in perfect harmony. Y yes, Dodgers has got some great harmony right there. He sings so well because he sounds like Daffy fucking Duck. Daffy fucking Duck. Viridian Gym was closed for a long time, but now our leader is back. How do you become a gym leader? It's a good, good fucking question. How do you even open a gym? Uh, that, there should be like a Pokemon game where you actually can become a gym leader and open up your own gym. Because it would be it would be fun to like figure out what all that's all about and shit. All right, Dodgers, fucking drown him. Drown his ass. Drown his purple ass. You need to defeat this man. Defeat the bigger man. Got a crit. I also just need a lot more speed in order to get over Nido King. Like this Nido King is level uh 39. So it's like, I'm able to get over that, but that's like five levels below me. You see? Pretty much a one-hit kill for this guy. And it'll be even, like, even stronger. Level 45. Let's see. He's got a speed of 96. What is Giovanni's, like, Pokemon's speed? I don't know. Like, Pokemon, yellow, Giovanni... Uh, stats. Let me see. I just want to see what his stats are. Hmm. It's not very helpful. Nothing really seems to come up. Even when you try to research, it doesn't help. There's another guy I could fight, but it probably wouldn't give me enough experience to go to level 46. Man, Dodgers has become the strongest on the team, or at least just the highest level. All right, Giovanni, I need your blood. <laughs> I need the blood of the uninnocent, of the guilty. Uninnocent is not a word. It's called guilty. <laughs> it's like, damn, couldn't even remember that word. <laughs> All right, Giovanni, let's try this again. If not, then I'm just going to have to go out and grind everybody up to level, like, 55 or something. <laughs> ah, he's going straight for the earthquake. He's not fucking around this time. He knows that Dodgers could just destroy him. Come on, hold on! Ugh, fucking hell. Uh. Okay, please die. What the? I didn't even get hit by like a sand attack. This, this is a 256 glitch in fucking action. I'm resetting. Fuck this. <laughs> it's like, I could, I could not take that. Like, <laughs> surf is 100% accurate. So when I miss without any accuracy modifying moves hitting me, or evasion modding modifying moves, it's like, ooh boy, I'm gonna get pissed. I'm gonna get pissed. All right, I'm not taking your bullshit, Giovanni. We're gonna we're gonna end this here and now. I'm not taking your bullshit like that. We're just like allowed to dodge everything, and I get hit by everything. It's like. Okay, I can deal with one earthquake. It's like, no, I cannot. <laughs> I need him to be brain dead to win. Alright, surf. Okay, well, that's a reset. Getting hit by a fisher. Right as we get in. Like, that's an insta-kill move. Like, bullshit. Like, I know... It should work out because Doug Trio is faster than me. And in Gen 1, uh, one, hit, one hit KO moves will have a much higher chance to hit if they're faster than the opponent. But it's like, damn. It's like right as I get in, it's like fucking Fisher Earthquake. Can't you do another guard spec? It's like, man, you're starting, you're starting to piss me off. I mean, he is, he is a fucking mafia boss, so he would play dirty like that. Little dick. You're a little dick, you know that? Okay, use the guard spec. Finally hit a surf. Okay, that's the luck we needed. It's like we can pretty much pretty easily kill Doug Trio. Okay. Now I got Persian. And I don't want to fight him, so we're just going to go back to Grimace. Okay. 
It's like, damn. That was some really shitty luck twice in a row. It's like, I could not take that. All right, we got hit by a, a screech, but it, it actually didn't hit us, so. Should be easier to take on, like, uh, Nido King and Nido Queen? So I hope. Then we start missing. And he's just like, yeah, fuck you, I'm going to double team strats. And it's like, well, at some point, I will kill you. There's no denying that. It'll just take me a while. Keep trying to slash at me, it won't work. Keep trying. Keep trying. Finally. <laughs> I'm like, fine, a fucking leaf. Alright. We got him out of the way. Dodgers grew to level 44, which means he's got a speed stat of 102. I just have to deal with these fucks. Hypnosis! Okay, that one actually went off. Good shit. Just hope they don't wake up all that quickly. Alright. Dream Eater. Eat your fucking dreams out, brother. Yeah, that's strong stuff. <laughs> it's got a... It's got an effective power of 100. So that's like doing 200 base power against these things that are weak to it. So it's like... Mm. Alright. So, now we just have to make sure we land the crit on Nido, or just land Hypnosis on Nido King. Which is pretty unlikely, but let's try it! <sighs> Why do you always have the best luck, Nido King? It's just this specific Pokemon, they put the luck stat up to like 5 billion and just go like, fuck you. It's like, even without my defense lowered, you are still killing me. Alright, Dodgers. So, if it hits, like... Thunder, I'm gonna say, like, you know, you are... Okay, I am faster than him now, or at least have a speed tie. Come on. Freeze him! Damn it! Damn it! Why is your luck so fucking good? Why does he get all the fuck luck? Okay. Hit him with the surf. Because <laughs> I am not going to try and miss with Blizzard. Fuck you. Go die. Alright. Finally. Now you get to see his final Pokemon. It's a Rhydon. He is two times weak to water type moves, so he is now fucked. <laughs> Once you get past Nido King, everything becomes so much easier. I don't get it. I don't get why he had so much luck, but us being able to survive that thunder and be able to go faster is just all we needed. Good job, Dodgers. You're now level 46. Good job. He is he became the MVP. Though him and Grimace were able to do some good work. Ha! That truly was an intense fight. You have won. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. I actually kind of like you now if you beat the shit out of me. Dio got $5,000. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey. Is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With that, you can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. You do not have space for this. Damn. I'm gonna trash something real quick. Um, I will use this Hyper Potion to heal Duck Dodgers for no reason. Good job, Dodgers. Uh, let me grab your shit. The Earth Badge makes any Pokemon of his evidence. You can enter the Pokemon League. It is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Dio received TM27. TM27 is Fisher. You'll take out Pokemon with just one hit. I made it here. I made it when I ran the gym here. Too long ago. Having lost, I cannot face my underlings. Team Rocket is finished forever. I will dedicate my life to the study of Pokemon. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. And yeah, Giovanni is gone pretty much forever, so. Don't have to worry about him coming back. I don't really know what he means by dedicating his life to the study of Pokemon. I don't know if he becomes, like, a professor after he loses, but, like, he says apparently that he's going to dedicate his life to studying Pokemon. So either way, we now have every single gym badge after a episode of grinding slash throwing my head at the wall. But either way, we've finally ready to go down to the Pokemon League. So I'm going to go ahead and heal up so we can start heading that way because we're going to have to go down a very a very vicious final dungeon so it's going to be 
Something that's going to be hard, but we're most definitely not ready for the Pokemon League. We are just not. Like, we are quite weak. We were only able to get through that due to the luck of every kind of hit. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to switch some Pokemon around because, uh, well, well, nothing bad can happen after we beat Giovanni, right? Let's go right. All right, go ahead and save. We need to go around there. Too bad I can't do the shitty Italian, whatever the fuck, ma boss mafioso voice I was trying to do. <gasps> that one didn't hurt my head as much as the other ones. But still, let's just head on to the Pokemon League. Hopefully nothing bad can... <laughs> what? Dio? What a surprise to see you here. So, you're going to the Pokemon League? You collected all the badges too? That's cool. I guess Jotaro respects us. Jotaro. <laughs> then I'll whip you, Dio, as a warm-up for Pokemon League. Come on. Yeah, we have to deal with the final rival battle. So, yeah, he is quite strong here. He has a team of six Pokemon. Jojo wants to fight. And uh, there's quite a bit to it. I don't... Why did I... Oh, I forgot. His first one is... It's Sand Slash in this version. Shit. Um, <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Double team. I'm still faster than you, even if I'm ten levels lower than you. Fuck you. <sighs> even a move that has, like, low accuracy. The enemy can hit. Let me guess, five times? No, two times. Okay, thank you, Gorg. I'm doing the double team strats. Oh, shit, he's got Swift. Well, shit. Oh, fuck you, dude. I just like to hear Pikachu die. Gurchu, you've, you've tried your best. That's all I can say. You've done your best, but now you're dead. And that is a big sad. Anyway, time to drown your fucking rat. What did I say? What did I say in the last episode? Rats are just not my favorite. I mean, it's a shrew. It's not an actual rat. But it's like, damn. <laughs> fucking hell. Whatever. Dodgers doesn't care. You've got an execute, execute, I don't care, blizzard. <laughs> Dodgers doesn't give a shit no more. He's protecting his older brother. Yeah, you know, like, Dodgers is like the uh, younger brother of Gorochu. Like I said, like, Gorochu was jealous. But now, since Dodgers has proven his own way in life, it's like he loves his brother now. I mean, he's loved his brother since he came here, but still. All right, Nine Tails. Man, Dodgers is like... He's, like, kicking ass out here. Is he going to fucking... Is he going to annihilate the rival's team? <laughs> All right, then. Oh, not completely. Dio used... Jojo used a potion. <laughs> By going second in the entire turn order. All, just another one of those weird glitches. Usually potions and items are supposed to go first before moves, but whatever. He's able to do it, make it go second. Also, he only has potions. What a fucking dummy. Anyway, thanks for the experience. Oh no, Jojo sent out Cloyster. This one might actually hurt. We, we, we hurt. Gorochu was our answer to that, so that's great. We technically have coconuts. <laughs> uh, what is a good answer to this? Nothing really. Uh, I guess Grimace. Grimace is a good neutral counter. He's got Aurora Beam. Not a great move. Though it can freeze. So that is that is a sad. Uh, go for Hypnosis. There we go. I'm going to eat the dreams of a clam. Clam dreams. Would you like to own some clam dream? Sounds like a really weird, like, things you buy off the shelves. Like, you're trying to buy clams, and you can't afford clams. So instead, you buy clam dream. Yeah, he used a potion in the second... Oh, God. Glitches abound, or just not even glitches, more like oversights abound. Anyway, you are now dead, and my SNES controller starts sliding down my pajama pants. <laughs> I had to go ahead and grab that for well. Oh, Dodgers grew to level 47. Dodgers is he's getting up there. Next up is Kadabra. Hypnosis? Ah, uh, he's faster than me. Little fuck. Let's see. 
Come on, survive, Grimace, survive! Ah, oh, it didn't work. He got a crit. Little bitch. All right, who should face him? Sakuya. <laughs> Say, uh, <laughs> uh, get revenge for your brother. Burn his, burn his house down while he does recover on full health. Good job. I'm like, good job. All right, Sakuya, you've got a pretty high special stat. You should, yeah, you're, you're pretty easily survived that. If he starts recovering, then like it'll be a recover versus my battle. Oh no, it's using psychic. Come on, you can survive this, Sakuya. I believe in you. You oh, see, that's what happens when you believe in somebody. That's what happens when you believe in somebody. It works. All right, now he's got his final one, Jolteon. You see, why was Giovanni stronger <laughs> than the rival fight? Just proves that Jotaro does not know how to train his Pokemon. I'm sorry, Jotaro, but we've, we've just learned that you're really bad at being a Pokemon trainer, and Dio has always been the best Pokemon trainer of all time. Maybe because he's also being controlled by, you know, an actual player. I don't know, it's using the badge glitch without knowing it. Come on, Sakuya. Quick attack! Yeah! Oh, no, it survived. Well, shit. He's close to being dead, and I don't think he has full restores. If only we had Goruchu out here to finish it up. Either way, uh, get him, Vanilla. Earthquake this man to death. All right, Earthquake. Yeah, you don't already, you don't need to be faster than me. You're already faster than me. It's like it, there's no point, but you're dead now anyway. Man, rival battle, super easy. Giovanni, super hard for no good reason. Well, we beat Dio, we beat Jojo again. Not Dio. What? I was just careless. <laughs> You're a badass. That loosened me up. I'm ready for Pokemon League. Dio, you need more practice. I beat your ass. But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Yada yada does it. Yeah, I beat your ass. Why do you say I need more training? Whatever, he's he's delusional, don't worry about it. He's got like brain damage. He got hit too many times, he aura aura he aura aura and then got brain damage, so it's okay. Either way, now we're finally heading to the Pokemon League. You can head here at any point in the game, but they won't let you pass certain points unless you have certain badges. Oh, that is the Boulder Badge. Go right ahead. Yeah, you can literally just, if you have certain badges, you can just start moving forward, but you won't move all the way forward until you have them all. So you can keep coming back. Just be a waste of time. You can only pass here if you have the Cascade Badge. Oh, that is the Cascade Badge. Okay then, please head right on ahead. See, our Pokemon are not healed, so uh, this is a bad idea. But I just want to start going forward anyway. You can pass here only if you have the Thunder Badge. Oh, that is the Thunder Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Yes, I am the King. Durn. You can pass here only if you have the Rainbow Badge. Oh, that is the Rainbow Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. They'll just keep repeating this shit. All right, uh, who can swim us across? Dodgers, you will go. Dodgers, you will swim and serve. I just gave him HMs, but those HMs are actually good for him. You can pass here if you if you have the Soul Badge. Oh, that is the Soul Badge. I would only be able to surf if I had the Soul Badge, stupid. Okay then, please go right ahead. Let's see. Don't know why, and I don't, I thought this was land. It is a fucking island. Thought it was the mainland. You can pass here only if you have the Marsh Badge. Oh, that is the Marsh Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. They just repeat the same thing over and over and over again, so don't worry about it. Let's see, up on here. Ah, oh, the epic music as we pass on. You can pass here only if you have the Volcano Badge. Oh, that is the Volcano Badge. Okay then, please go right ahead. Because when I was first playing Pokemon like fi like Leaf Green or Fire Red, I kept on going back here to like try and get even further. I was just a dumb kid that didn't know how the Elite Four worked or the Pokemon League worked here. You can pass here only if you have the Earth Badge. Oh, that is the Earth Badge. Okay, go. Please go right ahead. Victory Road Gate, Pokemon League. Yes, we have made it to Victory Road. 
the dumbest dungeon, but at least the most straightforward of the dungeons. But either way, we're going to have to end this here because we're here in uh, Victory Road. We need to do quite a lot of grinding, and Victory Road is probably the best place to get grinding. So, next time on Pokemon Yellow, we're hopefully going to have at least all of the team at level 50, uh, if not at level 60, because I would want to go pretty over the over like what we have, since we're already at our full team. We don't need to worry about them evolving at a certain point. So if we got the entire team at level 50, that'd be pretty damn perfect. Or at level 60, that would be even more perfect. But either way, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Trey Lafari, Gray, Phoenix, Shell Bagan and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!